Our first guest mixes fantasy food and fun for an out of this world experience in Pioneer Square. Nordo chef Aaron Ridley is here to show us what it's all about. And oh my gosh, already we're just cooking shallots and butter and it smells delicious. Can't go wrong with shallots and butter. Uh, what are we making today? So we are making the oyster bread pudding inspired by the walrus and carpenter. I love so it. So I had the fun of trying to figure out how to fit oysters into an entree because we have an original song that happens halfway through the show, which is all the poetry of the walrus and carpenter set to music. Original song too. Yes. How Anastasia fun. Workman is our composer. She composes all of our original music. It's a, she's amazing. The genius that walks amongst us. I love it. And so rather than oysters at the top, I had to figure out oysters in the middle. Was trolling the internet. Who makes an entree with oysters? And on the Hama Hama, our Hood Canal local oysters, they had the recipe for this oyster bread pudding. So I took it, I tweaked it, I adapted it. I'm serving it on some duck confit. I love it. Who would have thought? Let's do it. Let's get started. Yeah, okay. So what I need you to do is I need you to separate oh, five right. eggs. Yes, ma'am. I am sauteing up these shallots with some shiitake mushrooms. Okay. We have over here, we have um, some uh, uh, Fuji Bakery, the um, Japanese milk bread, which is my preferred bread for, you know, Grilled cheese sandwiches, the mm -hmm. best. I um, love that bread. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. And then, of course, bread pudding. Um, so, yeah, our big challenge was to try and figure out how to make amazing eat me's and drink me's that, uh, that lived up to the Alice in Wonderland name. Exactly. Eat me's and drink me's, if you don't know, is what Alice takes when she is lost and trying to find her way. So tell us about Down the Rabbit Hole. Tell us a little bit about the show. Well, it has been in fruition for, or in creation for over three years now because we were going, it was scheduled for pre-COVID. We were okay. just about to open it when COVID hit. What ended up happening was because of this, we had two extra years to employ many more artists. So a total of 50 artists working on this show between designers and actors and musicians and wow. installation artists. So you come down the rabbit hole in our Pioneer Square location downstairs. Um, there's a five course meal that goes along with it. Five courses? Yes, five courses. Um, live music or um, sing along. So we've kind of set it in a karaoke club. Alice comes tumbling down the stairs and ends up in our um, karaoke club club led by the Queen of Hearts. Everybody sings. It's all fun pop music except for our originals of course, Jabberwocky and oh. uh, it was only a tart. And so we're solving the mystery it was only a tart. of who stole the tarts. <laughs> care I of Alice. love that. I love that it is set in a situation where it's, you know, who doesn't get to a karaoke bar in, in a similar way by I stumbling mean, just down the stairs. Stumbling oh. down the little rabbit hole. Yes, three, scoop three of that. scoops of that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, so I, I just have to say, what inspired this? I know you, obviously, the Wallace from the Carpenter inspired this dish, but the other dishes, yes. I'm assuming, have a Wonderland theme. Totally. So, um, re, you know, you read through to find all the little hints on food. All yep, of this? Right in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I'm going to grab this big bowl from yep. you. Yep. Um, and the first thing I found was the, uh, the moment when the Duchess... Um, is uh, making her her tarts and the and of course they get stolen. Mm -hmm. The tart gets stolen, and there's a trial. And in the trial, it's asked, "Well, what are tarts made of?" The Queen of Hearts asks, and the very scared March Harris says, "Uh, pepper mostly." So I knew I needed to make a pepper tart. Oh, clever! Very um, clever. Yes. And then uh, we did a for dessert. We've got a chocolate pot de creme um, mm. uh, that's served in a little teacup. Oh, we have a mushroom clever. tea, of course. Have to have mushrooms. How about red roses? Um, our whole set is covered in red roses and white roses. Oh. And we do have a drink called Paint the Roses Red, which starts out white and then ends up red. I'm going to really? put these shallots and mushrooms okay. in with this bread. All right, so we've got the bread, we've got the shallots, the mushrooms, yep. and where's the oysters? These are the oysters. So these have been poached. These are Hama Hama okay. poached yearling oysters. I'm just going to scoop them right in there. And are they cooked or? Yeah, so, okay. I, um, so I poach them just in some simmering water until they're like a little firm and their little little whiskers get fluffy and they're then you know. They're gigantic. They're little. They are? Yeah. That one looks huge they're to me. They're the little babies. And this is duck confit, I mean uh, uh, garlic confit. Okay. Which we use, the, we use the duck confit fat to cook that garlic. Ooh. Bunch of herbs. Bunch Woo. of just herbs. Did you squish all that up I with did. the whisk? I did, yes ma'am. Awesome. It did, is it? All right, gonna give it a little. Little salt to root. Just a little. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, you want to go ahead and pour that okay. in? 
And I'm going to put this kale in so it's healthy, you know. Of course, obviously, <laughs> with all this milk bread and egg. Yes, and yes, yes. And then I go ahead and I use the tongs that God gave me. This yes. Is, you know what? Sometimes you just got in. That's how I make my meatballs. Oh, yeah. That's the New Day way. We like it. <laughs> we call it. We just get in there. Yes. Get in there. Um, so here it is. And basically, we're just going to throw this into some little, tiny little loaf pans. You can see okay. how little they are. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you get it to a tiny little thing? It's a little tiny loaf pan. No, itty bitty <laughs> loaf pan. I am into anything that's a little smaller than it should be. That's I think that's good. <laughs> I think there's, there's a lot of people who are fascinated with anything miniature. Oh, my gosh. I almost forgot the cheese. Oh no! What would have happened? I mean, Parmesan. <laughs> we needed just protein. It's I know just protein. <laughs> so what we do here is we will load up our little um, our little loaf pans. Our little loaf pans. I mean, I would move this. Uh, so I don't you know, know. It's, okay. it's, it's hot. All right. Uh, <laughs> what about? cocktails with this. You mentioned oh, yeah. Jade of the Rose is Red, but is this like a, more of a light cocktail that would go with this? Um, so we have a cocktail actually that our mixologist created that has um, oyster shell tincture in it. Really? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It's called the filet adieu, um, or Ooh. you know, madness of two. So that's filet the adieu. filet adieu, madness of two. Um, so that's inspired by the Hatter and the Hare, or Mad Hatter and March Hare. Mm -hmm. um, our, our mixologist creates um, cocktails that go with each character. Yes. So there's a huge cocktail menu and it's just delicious. And so, I mean, obviously the one with the oyster tincture has to be with this, right? I'm 100%. You know, I feel like a lot of folks who maybe have only experienced Alice through the 1951 Disney version would learn actually a lot about the Lewis Carroll original tale from coming to this show. It's so funny. Everyone thinks they know it. Yes. And really they just know the cartoon. Right. Um, so we had so much fun kind of diving into the text and finding all the old secrets and things that you, you you really think you're like oh I know Alice in Wonderland and then you read it and you're like wait what <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts <laughs> it is nuts and I think. really funny and really funny yeah. I actually enjoy it better than the movie which I mean totally. it did, listen Disney did a great job it's a classic uh, Alice is adorable but it is really such an amazing read we only have about a minute left, but I okay. have to just ask you, how yeah. can people experience this? Like, what are the details on, on coming to the show and dinner? Yeah, so um, tickets are available at CafeNordo.com. Okay. Um, and we've got nine shows left this summer, and then we are going to extend through the fall. <gasps> so you will have until end of November to see Alice in Wonderland um, down in Pioneer Square. Again, CafeNordo.com is where the tickets are, okay. and that includes dinner. You'll have to buy your drinks separately, but we'll make it worth your while. Ooh, <laughs> I bet you will. All right, let's take a look at the finished product yeah. right here. This is just beautiful. Um, how it looks adorable. That We're you just going to steam it. these guys. Oh, that's all you do is you steam you them? You steam them in the oven. Da -da 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 -da. So I thought that you baked them, but no, you, you sit them in a pot, you put some water and you steam it in the oven. Yep. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Awesome. Oh, that looks so good. I'm going to try that when we yeah, get a break. Yeah, that's with the duck confit and celery leaves in there. What a fun thing you have all created. We are having a really good time. Thank you for sharing <laughs> it with us. Thank oh, you yeah. for bringing us down the rabbit hole. And we will be checking in for more. I can't wait to go. Sounds to good. <laughs> can't wait to see you there.